Welcome back. We're gonna continue in Wake Up. If you're watching this later, as always, thanks for clicking. The journey on the sea is looking for the pieces of the uh, trifles piece. I'm gonna have to look at more islands, but... Okay, um... I have to remember... Some of the clues I got yesterday. Uh, where am I? Okay. I'm looking at the bottom screen here. So, I didn't really get... <laughs> any strong leads I did decipher a new map which is on a circular island so I need to find a circular island beyond that uh yeah this island over there is still a mystery to me as to what to do I mean I know I need something heavy to let me withstand the wind but I followed the thread and it seemed to be a dead end but I'm going to open today by just sailing around and getting the pieces of the map. As these charts rely on, yeah, having the map. Give me, give me the chart. And then I'll read what information you have. Okay, that's not the island we're looking for. You'd best be careful sailing these waters on nights when the moon is full. Well, if you like pure soul freezing horror fr fry, then maybe you can handle it. Okay. Seems to be a lot of times where they're just like, hey, don't sail at night time. Yeah, that is someone. What? I see, indeed. What do you say? <laughs> that doesn't... Alright, what's he looking at? Oh, there's a submarine over there. Have I been in that? I'm, I'm not sure. I may have. Alright, at the very least, let me... Get this. boy. Another one. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I guess let's see what that submarine is about. This is the rat infested one. I may have already been in here. We'll see. Uh, no, this is a different one. There's a demon thing here. Is this just, just, just an arena? What's with these abandoned submarines just being full of everything? Yeah. 
Am, am, I, am I just screwed? Like, are they just gonna keep coming forever? Okay, I think it was just a survival event. No, go away. <laughs> this had better be something good. Ah. <laughs> I mean, maybe it'll lead to something. I don't know. It's just nine times out of ten those those charts are just gonna lead to a fifty rupee piece. That's why I'm not too excited about it. Okay, on to the next part of the map. I'll probably have to pop by Tingles to purchase more bait. Surprise. It's about as anticlimactic as the ones in Breath of the Wild, honestly. I think it's this, I mean. If you see seagulls flying all around some seawaters, that's a sign you need to be wary, Fry. Because the gulls flock to wherever big octos appear. Big octos, I tell you. Those things don't mess around. And that's all the info I got to offer. Okay. I already fought two, they're nothing. Probably more money. But I do need money now. I, there's one more chart to decipher and I need... I need money to do it, so... I guess this is fine. Wait, I haven't gotten this one? Really? Oh no, I haven't. Yeah, I came here but I didn't get the chart. Because I didn't have bait. There's a trifles piece on this tile but I don't know how to get up there. Do you know about Golden Triumph Forks? It's there, I tell you, on that island, a genuine article. Wait, when they say Triumph Forks, I think they mean Triforce. 
Is that just their fancy way of saying trifles? But the cliff there rises sharply, and even if you wanted to climb it, there aren't any ledges or footings that you can grab onto. So what are you going to do? It's not really helpful. That just kind of clicked. Are they calling the Triforce Triumph Forks? <laughs> when in doubt. Okay, that, do that doesn't work. a little two point blank it's okay there should be maybe one more no okay i mean honestly the only thing i could think of is like maybe there's something that gets revealed by explosions or the bird do i have bird bait I do. Okay, let's try that. Oh. Bird, please. Up. Why, why is Bird drunk? <laughs> there we go. Okay. That doesn't seem to be... If I was to take a guess, it's just... The hook's gonna get upgraded somehow. Then those fern patterns are probably what I can latch onto. Because they do seem to be pretty consistent around it. But otherwise, I don't see anything really. Can't go in there. Yeah, I don't see anything that would help resolve this. Hmm. Okay. I guess come back to this island later. Okay. <laughs> so many tiles left to uncover. Filling the C chart up, man. It's definitely going to be an undertaking. But I'm hoping along the way I will find what I'm looking for. A few more of those and then I'll be able to decipher the final chart. Or at least the one that I have. It's not the final one. What is this? It's like the gate of some sort.
the west of here over Dragon Roost Island, you see all kinds of rocks. Big one, little ones, you get the picture. Anyway, they say that long ago there used to be a treasure hidden inside those things. Who knows, there might still be some left, so you should open your eye and take a good look around. From as high up as the sun to as low down as your toes. That's all the info I got. Okay. Did I, I, I don't know if I did an island like that. There's another submarine over there, I can see it. What, what are you? Hold on. Boat, please. <laughs> Uh, it's not letting me get in there. Okay, before we do anything else. So far, of course. Okay. Where is it? Oh, it's over there. Oh, this is going to be a pain to get out of, but I guess. Let's see what it is. Birdman Contest. If you think you were born to fly, then take the challenge of the skies to win fame and prizes. Greetings, a person who has surely come to take the challenge of the big sky. This is where you can register for the official Rito Tribe Birdman Contest. And now listen, you're free to use any methods, means, or tools you have at your disposal to help you soar through the sky. The rules are simple. See how far you can fly before you crash into the rolling seas, much like the dead weight driftwood. A banner stands now at the site where the great and talented champion who was, who has flown the farthest to date crashed into the frothy waves in a massive splash of glory. If you are able to pass that flag, then you will be the new champion, and you will be drenched in praise, much as you will be drenched in seawater. Participation fee is a mere 10 rupees. Well, will you take the challenge? I think I need a magic up to win, but let's just see. Alright, alright. Yeah, I, I do, but like, I'm not sure I'm going to go very far. Oh, Challenger, the contest is afoot. You see the banner off in the far distance? That marks the record distance set by our great intelligent champion. You must pass that banner. Okay. Um... I think the problem is going to be magic more than anything else. What? Oh, jeez. Yeah, no, it's magic. Like, how am I supposed to win here? Oh, I'm an idiot. No, 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 no. I see what I've done wrong. Hey, Laura. Hang on. Sploosh. 54 yards. Yeah, so whopping 54 yards. I know what I did wrong. Yeah, let me do it again. Okay. I know I know what I've I know what I did wrong. Um I needed to change the wind direction. I was going against the wind direction. Okay, so This is just not. No, I guess so it's like that way. Mm -hmm. 
There it is. Okay, so now I'll have the wind on my side. Much better. It's like a game of pilot wings. I think I need extended magic, but that was better. I imagine I can't do this until I have a better magic source. I have flown into the updraft. The problem is I don't have a large magic supply. I guess I'll keep this in mind. Yep. Okay, onwards. Let's see if I've done this. I would imagine there's something that halves your magic use or doubles your magic bar, one or the other. Whoa. Yeah, I haven't done this. All the things are getting on my nerves. I'm just gonna keep spawning them. I just have to hit it with a bow. I just have to ignore them. Otherwise, I'm never gonna get it done. Get out of here. Let me guess, another C chart. <laughs> That's gonna give me 50 more rupees. That I'm probably just gonna give to Tingle anyway. Let's see. Okay, no, it's a platform chart. This is different. You can find platforms out on the high sea. This is different. This is something else. The last platform I went to had a heart piece, so that's probably a good thing. I apparently have uh, 14 maps. <laughs> or maybe I've done 14. I, I don't think that I have 14 to find. Maybe there's two to find.
Okay. Dun, 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 Where's my music? Hey, Gammy, what's up? How's it going? How's progress? Uh, progress? It's about the same as yesterday. I'm just going around filling in my C chart at the moment. I haven't been playing for that long. <laughs> filling in the C chart slash getting more funds for Tingle. Peed multiple times in your dreams and you're glad not to wake up and pee. <laughs> Always a positive, I suppose. Uh, but I, I have had dreams where, uh, like, it feels like something has happened and then it hasn't. You wake up and it's like, oh, it didn't happen. Okay, good. The brain playing tricks on you. Got the worst neck and shoulder pain. No idea why. Probably rest for a bit. Ah, oh, that must be annoying. I used to get shoulder pain when I was in university, and I just used to get my younger brothers to walk on my back because they were still young at the time. That helped a lot. And this is something that just lingers, and you can't get rid of it. It's kind of crappy. All right, it's not that. Golden Feathers. Dragon R Rito Ladies. Yeah, yeah. I I've been collecting them. Oh wait, that's not Tingle. Hang on, is this... Is this something that I've done? Sometimes the wind is way too strong on this, and I just want to do like a little adjustment, and I was like, nah! hammer it's just so comical <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about the look of these fairies <laughs> young waker of the winds Allow me to aid you in your quest. Okay, cool. So I guess next time I find one, hopefully it's going to deal with magic. But that's nice. Just don't have to think about arrows, really. Okay. Oh yeah, for full context, Gammy, like, confirm me works as an EMT, so... Would know. Hang on. On the topic of, like, any sort of ailment. 
Or signs of ailment, I guess. More on Tingle. Um, I mean, I guess I'll get the one adjacent here. I can see it already in the distance. I'll have to pay Tingle a visit, though. All oh, right, I put the bait away. Uh, there we go. I thought it glitched again. So the Triforce is the Triforce. You'll have to ask a girl. Okay. Wait a minute, didn't I do I did this already. And then there was the cave entrance. Okay, yeah, I remember. Oh. I messed up. The chart isn't this one. Um, alright, let me... We need to find Tingle. I'm not Tingle Beetle. Wait, is that another submarine? That is another submarine. Oh, this is for real, like a inhabited submarine as opposed to just a joke. Okay. Thought I would have to get the rats as well. Wait, but there's... there's more to this. Oh, nice! I'm happy about that. Um, I'm gonna try and take out the rats and see if maybe it does more. standing there. Oh, come on. How did that miss? Took the bait, you fool. Unless this is, this is a fake out, like... No, it doesn't look like there's anything in there. I mean, hey, an empty bottle, I'll take it. Yep.
Okay. Uh, let me see what a beetle is. I have too many treasure shots. Okay, Beetle is on an island south or north of me, so I'll pick the south one. That makes sense why Beetle is here. Where's the ship? There you are. Come here. I gotta show him the ticket as well that I got. Thank you. <laughs> Love the Koroks. They are pretty funny. Thank you. Thank you. I've always con been convinced that the Koroks, at least in Breath of the Wild, Thank were just a result of Link's own psychosis for being asleep for a hundred years, because no one else can see them. Where's this item he sent me? There. You want to use your complimentary ID? Okay, here goes. You are so great, absolutely fantastic, incredible. And there you go. Isn't it nice to be complimented once in a while? It is, isn't it? <laughs> That's my reward. Okay, I mean... It's like one of those, um, those coupons that they get you to make your mom for Mother's Day, or your dad for Father's Day, or just a parent coupon in general. That being said, I have seen them, you know, done from partner to partner, but like, that's what it feels like. This coupon is good for one free compliment. Because, you know, I'm not going to do it otherwise. Okay. Hi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard. I take it you want a chart and information. Blah, 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 blah. This looks promising. That kind of looks like the shape of an island that I need to. The only way there is is to hit a switch. That's what... Uh, yeah, I've done that. Alright. That thing saying thank you there, that's Beetle. Thank you! And then, uh... In Breath of the Wild, he kind of turns into Little John from Little John and the East Side Boys. So, yeah, yeah! I'm, I'm not joking, that's, that's what Beetle says in Breath of the Wild. When we get up to it, you'll see. I'll make the joke again. Yeah, yeah. Ah! 
You love how sassy Beetle is in Skyward Sword? I don't remember him being like that. I'm trying to think. How was Beetle like in Skyward Sword? I don't remember. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm gonna be playing Skyward Sword again, so... You know, it kind of dawned on me as well, like... If you don't buy anything, he throws you out. Oh. I guess I never did that. But, um, what kind of dawned on me yesterday... This was one of these, like, oh no, 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 Will. It's time to stay awake. Your brain says it's time to stay awake, so you're not sleeping for a while. It was one of those moments, but, like... If I want to play through all these games before Tears of the Kingdom comes out, I mean, let's let's look at it, right? It's basically March, so I have two and a half months, right? The games that I have left to play, I mean, some of them, I, I can see them being done in under a week. That seems realistic. But, alright. I'm gonna bring up the list. <laughs> Just... I need to hurry up. Um, anyway, let's see. Zelda Chronological Order. Release date. Give me a sec. Okay, so, you know, we are currently up to... The Wind Waker, which is at the halfway point. The next one we're not going to get to play because it's rare and it was on the GameCube and there's not much story to it and it's expensive, so we're skipping that one. So there's Minish Cap, then Twilight Princess, then Phantom Hourglass, Spirit Tracks, Skyward Sword, A Link Between Worlds, and then Triforce Heroes. So that's seven. And then Breath of the Wild makes eight. So, when does Tears of the Kingdom release? I think it's like May 12. Cool, May 12. May 12, so let's see. I'm gonna count the weeks. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Basically, ten and a half weeks. Well, let's just call it eleven weeks. Eleven weeks, and there's eight Zelda games to do. <laughs> I mean, okay, the Minish Cap is not going to take that long. Because it's a Game Boy game, it's not that long. The one, the name of the one I'm skipping is uh, Four Swords Adventures. It was the one that released on GameCube, and it required a Game Boy Advance to play it. So it would, you would hook the Game Boy Advance into the GameCube. So some elements would happen on the TV, and then other elements would happen on the Game Boy Advance screen. So. It's, it's a rare game, in the sense that, like, it's hard to source a copy of it, so it's expensive. And then I would still have to, like, do the whole GBA thing, which is, like, another headache. You think that was included in the Collector's Edition? No, no, it was a separate game. It was its own thing. It came in a massive box because it came with the adapter to hook up your Game Boy Advance. It was just something highly gimmicky. And, I mean, the barrier to entry on that game was pretty big because you needed a GBA to play it, so... I think I just overcomplicated this one too much.
I mean, if I really wanted to play it, like, we could resort to the big E word, but... Um... From what I've heard, that one does it isn't really heavy on story anyway. And I guess the point of this was to go through, like, the copies of the games that I do actually own. I, I think I pretty much have every single Zelda game. I have a way to play it and stream it. And get it from a legit source. Except that one. So, yeah, I kind of have to hurry up <laughs> if I want to keep that plan, you know? Like, I think it's doable. As, thankfully, quite a few of those games are DS games and Grant Game Boy Advance games. And those, from memory, they weren't really long games. I might be wrong, but I'm fairly certain any all the DS games were not long at all. Like they were they were pretty short. So I might be okay. The only other long long ones that remain after this one are Skyward Sword, um Twilight Princess, and of course Breath of the Wild. I can get four swords on 3DS. That's a different entry. That is I do have it. But it's not the same thing. That is the one to release before uh, Breath of the Wild. Wait, how do I do this? I can't bring this up with me. Oh, no, I can. I can. We'll see how we go. I'm hoping that's how it's going to play out, but... Maybe time constraints won't allow this. But that's all well and good, but, like... Oh no, gliding across, I guess. There we go. Oh no. Alright, it's another Korok Island. Please tell me that- Okay, there's, there's a chest here. <laughs> I was gonna say, don't tell me that's all I went. It's okay. I got something else. ANOTHER TREASURE CHART! <laughs> Can we at least, I don't know, drop a ladder or something to make this easier? Or do I have to go through this whole process again next time? This Korok thing seems to be a little bit of suffering. But okay. I'm kind of aware of where it is. To be honest, Ultimately, I'm just going to look up a map of where the Koroks are. So then I have a reference for it. Like, I'm not even going to attempt to remember. <laughs> it's just, alright, where are they? I mean, in the days of old, I would, like, you know, draw this on pen and paper and, uh... Just be like, okay, yeah, they're here. It's such a missed opportunity because it's... There's a lot of things that they could have done on the Wii U version of games which just never did. It's like... They kind of just threw stuff on the bottom screen but didn't really give any real reason... ...for it to be on the touch screen. Like having a map you can stamp and mark things on and objectives, that would have been great. Would have been a fantastic addition to this. Especially because you have to remember some of this stuff. But instead, what we end up with is, like, you guys can't see this map I'm referring to. <laughs> it's just... You're just gonna have to trust what I'm saying. Okay. 
You know? Just... May as well look at this. Like, I know you get rewards for uh, taking out the tower completely, so let's just see. I am very excited to play Minish Cap. It's another one that I haven't played in a very long time, and I thoroughly enjoyed that one. And, uh, of course, A Link Between Worlds, but that's, like, towards the end of this. It'll be good to see Phantom Hourglass and, uh, Spirit Tracks as well. But I have higher nostalgia for, uh, Minish Cap and A Link Between Worlds, just because it's like a sequel to A Link to the Past. <laughs> I would have I would have much rather have had the the rupees to be honest. Okay, what is fish? I think that's it over there. too early. That was, hey, 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 hey! That was a waste of bait. Have you seen Small Fry the ghost ship? Because it's real. It's even been here, in these very waters. On nights when the crimson moon faces down, that's when the horror rises. That's all the info I got. Alright, so now this one's specific enough to tell me what that means. I haven't seen it yet. I would have thought I would have run out of these treasures to find. Wait, is it... Would you classify that as the crescent moon facing downwards? It's ki it kind of is. No, it's... I guess it's facing more to the left. Well, or it's facing to the right, I guess, depending on which way you look at it. Ooh. 
Wait. Have I really not gotten the sea chart for this island? How have I not gotten the sea chart for this island? That... How many times have I been here? Apparently not, okay. It's possible that the Triforce piece is buried just over there. Just a wee bit north of here on Bomb Island, I've sometimes seen a merchant of incredible girth with a monstrous pack on his back. Um, I, I, yeah, I know who that is. It's a Goron. Hopefully. Let's see it. No, it's just money. I mean, this could be it. <laughs> Tremendous god give address. Oh no. You gotta feel bad for the Gorons. I mean, I imagine they would be like borderline extinct, right? I mean, in this reality, their habit, their natural habitat is like all but gone. They got massive slong, <laughs> they got massive slongs canonically, but they're also made out of stone canonically. So, I mean, unless you're into literal rock hard, then. You know. <laughs> yeah. Literal rock hard. Like. It's a H there, right? Like, I guess if you want to destroy yourself on a boulder, go for it. be a rather solid choice. No, stop. <laughs> Please. We've already had one conversation about Gorons and... <sighs> I, I wasn't even paying attention to what the fish said. <laughs> I was just thinking about when I was playing Majora's Mask and, you know, there was the old Goron. And there was the baby who called that old Goron, you know, dad. And I was like, wait a minute, there's a baby Goron. Wait a minute, there's an old Goron. Wait a minute, how do they reproduce? And it was just like this, just, yeah, I don't even want to start that up again. Yeah, just tell me what you said before. Okay. 
make the boat jump. Okay, so just to make a sharp turn, that's all it's there for. I was kind of wondering. Okay. I mean, <sighs> you know what? I'm not going to say it. <laughs> I'm just going to stop. <laughs> Let's talk to this guy and keep playing the game. I'm not going to make things worse. Hey, that's a pretty slick boat you got there, kiddo. So, what do you say, kiddo? You want to play a boat game for 30 rupees. Alright. You seem trustworthy. Is this... Do is it's either a race or I have to... No, I don't think it's a race. I think this is... What? Whoa, wah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, I have to jump? Is there any incentive to this money? Oh, you can't use them the fast sale anyway. This is either a competition about money, or this is a competition about time. So I have... I'm either doing well, or I've messed it up completely. I mean, if I get to keep this money, damn. Yeah, I was gonna say, if I get to keep this money, at least there's a profit involved. Oh, way to be. Alrighty, here's the 150 you- 140 collected as I promised. Really? What? This is... <laughs> That's it. Um... Okay, let me... Is, is there, a, like, a heart piece here, or is this just, uh, like, a pity minigame? <laughs> Wind Waker, uh, but... Game. Wait, what? Okay, apparently there's something... Stop. Stop, 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 stop. Yeah, it would appear the minigame is only cash money, but it says something about an island to the south. Oh, yeah, there you go. So it says to do this.
I mean, that's nice, but... Okay. <laughs> Just ignore them. This is, uh, hmm. This is not what it described as. But I guess, whatever. <laughs> it said to use the boomerang, and I was like, nah, bow and arrow, it's fine. Yeah, honestly, that that's like my go-to if I need to make money now. Okay, keep. I mean, maybe the dude's just eccentric, rich person, but... You know, money doesn't matter to them. They're just running that minigame for fun. Oh wait, what am I doing? I shouldn't do this. <laughs> Unless it's a trifle space. I need to go I need to go translate this chart now. Yeah, I, I I need to stop unearthing these. So I don't have the room for them right now. I'll get this fish and then I'll go see uh, Tingle again. That's a... That's a beam of light there. That seems more serious. Northeast of here is Forest Haven. They say a truly unique kind of firefly is indigenous to that place. It emits bursts of light in seven colors. Supposedly it's as beautiful as a rainbow. Okay. Northeast of here. I can't say I've seen the island they're talking about. Anyway. I'm only trading this one because it has a beam of light. It seems special. <laughs> Just in time. It's a shark. Or it's just 50 rupees and I'm going to regret this immediately. What is it? Ah, uh, nope. Didn't regret it. Excellent. Alright, cool. What is on this island here? There's something here. Well, whatever it is, I don't have the height for it. It seems pretty important. <laughs> it's a big chest. Okay. What on earth? Lock puzzle? What? Can I 
even do this? I don't think I can do this yet. Oh no, wait, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe I can. I just need to not be an idiot. myself what no <laughs> see link is fine not crushed in the slightest no crushing here I can only push it. That's weird that I can pull it out one, but I can't push it in one. Like, it does a heavy push more than, uh... Alright, I'll figure it out. Glad you're finding this entertaining. <laughs> ah, ha ha ha. Okay. Did I mess this up? I think I've messed this up. Uh, how do how do I reset this? I guess crap. No, but then I'll I'll lose health. I was gonna say I just crushed myself and then it'll it'll reset it, right? I mean I would hope that a ladder drops. I guess it's just get in the spotlight. So I need to climb without losing too much height. I think I got it. It would be... Flip back. I'm gonna climb. Pull it. Oh, I can't pull it back. I'm thinking too much like... I, I was playing Catherine. Full body and... You know, <laughs> it's the puzzles are actually very similar. It's, it's pretty funny, but like you know, it involves pulling out blocks, and in that game, you can pull them off and have yourself hanging off the edge. Okay. I barely see though. Yeah. 
What now? Is this something where I need the mirror shield? Whoa. I mean, I don't want to assume that the mirror shield existed in this game, because this it's not always in every single Zelda game. But I mean, because there's beams of light, I kind of guessed. Because even if I do this, it's like, that's it. There's nothing I can do here. There are other mouths though, but yeah, I'm going to assume nothing here. It's fine. Hmm. Anyway. It's fine. Let's continue on my tour. To discover all the... <laughs> the islands. And then just start pacing stuff together one by one. That being said, I should probably go see Beetle now, so... Get more bait from Beetle and also see Tingle. I had to tingle first. Uh, where is tingle? That's it. All right. I'm not going to touch any more treasure spots until I spend the money. I guess now I know if it's not a beam of light, it's not really a big deal of a treasure. Like, these are just money treasures. Uh. Have I done this? I can't see if that's open. Hold on. I think I've done this one. Yeah, it's, it's open. Okay. Just making sure. Breath of the Wild Insect screams for me to blow those leaves away. Uh, I have. But you're right, like, you should. <laughs> when I get up to that, don't you worry. I'll be checking everything. Okay, that's, that's a beam of light. That's an important one. It's a trifle shot. I have spent the chart, so that's good. Here you go, fish. And good timing, because now we're going to go get chart three, so...
golden triumph forks. Yeah, it just clicked at the triumph forks. What they're referring to. Anyway. I don't have what they're talking about, so let's just keep going. Uh, it's alright. It's probably just money. Most likely just money. What is fish? They usually just are there now. Thing you never liked about Zelda games with the wallet size. You mean you don't want a physical limitation to how much money you can hold? I kind of like the fantasy of being able to get a bigger one later. Where Majora's Mask is what it's nice with the bank, yeah. Bank was good. Bank was good. That was kind of funny how they explained how the system worked. <laughs> He's really reliving his same day, so in the day recess, he doesn't really own the money anymore. But they just trust that he does. Like, I did find the premise of uh, the banking system pretty funny. But I mean, outside of that, yeah, it would be nice to have that. I don't know, this... This tower just... <laughs> it, it seems low-key evil. I don't know what it is about it, but it's, I feel like the... They're either drilling for oil or like some sort of summoning ritual is happening here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see if I have what it's referring to. Okay. Uh, so, I'm just describing it because you can't see my bottom screen. I am looking for a cluster of islands and then it's kind of off the coast. Let's see if we have anything that kind of fits that description. I'm looking at my map, so give me a minute. Mm, nothing really... I don't really see anything that fits that description just yet. I mean, there's one that's kind... kinda looks like it, but... I'm not sure it's that. It's a shame I can't stream the Wii U gamepad. Alright, I found it. I know what it is. Um, it... I have the island already mapped. You can somehow. If you're emulating, you can. If you're using real hardware. I don't believe there's a way to do it. 
At least not through official means. Because your capture card goes into the HDMI. That I'm aware of. could just have an overhead camera and it's just like facing downwards at my lap but I don't know I feel like that might violate a policy on Twitch two extra yeah I mean look it's fine I think if I was to play this with a pro controller then it would swap to just the pause menu showing the map but I don't have a pro controller for this thing, and I'm gonna see if I can go out and look for one at a secondhand shop. I might not be able to do it for this one, but I'll try at the very least for Twilight. other streamers did it, just need to look up how. Well, I guess it could be possible if you mod your Wii U with firmware. Like a custom firmware thing, but I'm not going to do that. If it's something that's just possible out, out of the box, without like doing modding or anything, then sure. It's also, yeah, I mean, likely that it's, it's done through emulation. Because to my knowledge, I haven't heard of anyone taking gamepad content, like, off real hardware, at least not to my knowledge. Could be wrong. It's fine. It's a, it's a minor inconvenience anyway, I guess. That's all. It's, if it's something that takes, like, more than an hour to mess around with, it's not worth doing. Not at this point. Okay, I need to get rid of this shark. The shark is annoying me. Where are you? Where did I pass it? Hang on. No, it's not this island. I think I passed it. Wait, I had the... What island was I looking at? Oh, I'm an idiot. It's the next row. Okay. Someone's done it. Okay, well, if, as, if it's something that's... It can be just done without too much fucking around, then sure. There's a Linux package to intercept in the code video sent signal sent from the Wii. The moment you mentioned Linux, I'm sure there's a way to do it, but it's not going to be like a, a straightforward way of doing it. Not shitting on Linux, it's just, let's just say, like, not the most user-friendly thing to do certain things on it sometimes. Like, you need to be a bit of a developer. And that's more effort than, than what I want to put in for just being able to show the map. <laughs> like, if it was fundamental to the gameplay, where it was like, you're missing out on a large set of content, then... Yeah. I would want to do everything in my power to 
you know, make the viewing experience as best as it can be. But for a map, nah. We'll we'll live without it. Especially if one of the solutions is just to go get a, a pro controller, like I'll just go find a pro controller. This, this is cool, just, like, you know, the cannon is being too up close, so I have to move. No such thing as a short-range cannon. Are more and more sharks appearing, or is it just me? Go away. There's a way on Windows. Again, as long as the way doesn't involve, like... It has to be literally be, okay, get this, open it, then enter this, and then it's done. Like, five minutes setup. I don't want to be, like, running a development environment. Just to do this. Instead of using the gamepad, they emulate the gamepad. Nah, then I'm good. That's more than what I want to do, just to like... Play this thing. And again, it's just, it's just a map. It's like, it's no biggie. Wait, why am I not hearing the sound effect? But I appreciate the looking into it. Where's the beam of light? Like, I'm trying to play this in an authentic manner for my sake, I just enjoy it more. If I'm using the gamepad or, like, the controller intended for the, uh, the console. That's done. I guess I'll just fill in the rest of the map now. I think it'd be a good thing to set up for stuff that um, has a lot more going on. 
on the bottom screen. imagine what this would have been like it's just without the fast sale man it must have been it must have been tedious after a while having to change wind direction and then not traveling around as quick I'm so sick of these sharks. They just don't give up. That's just a non-stop nuisance. Hooray. More money. The original taking damage in your boat knocks you out of the boat. What? Oh. So if a shark hits you, it knocks you off your boat. Jeez. And if you're doing sea battles... I mean, the sea battles are cool, but they're not exactly, like, uh, the smoothest experience. Oh. Well. I just go back to just kind of chilling. I'm sure there's more to be got in here. Ah! Oh, still faded away anyway. Where is fish? Why did the music stop abruptly? Lately, no one around these waters has seen the beautiful fairy who bestows magic power. She used to live here, Fry. Anyone, all anyone ever sees anymore, the big octos that have been appearing. Maybe they scared her off. I sure hope they didn't eat her. To make me nervous. 
<laughs> That's why they stopped the music. Okay, it's back now. I mean, these are all just treasure spots. They said it used to be here, so it's not here. So I'm gonna trust them. Of them. There's also a beetle's shop over there. Is this for real? <laughs> a whole cluster of chests? Did I maybe take out a bunch of ships here or something? This is 300 rupees, if that's the case. Or 250. Was it 5 or 6? Where did Beetle go? Oh, there you are. Come back, I want to spend before I pick those up. Yep. Disappointing, you're not selling bait. Uh, I mean, uh, fine. I'll just buy this. Thank you. Bye. This is just for the sake of my money, not going to waste. Yep. I really wanted more bait, but okay. No, it's... There we go. <laughs> I think I should just leave this. It's honestly fine, it can remain here. It was a pretty big deal. Okay, I've already got this island's chart, so let's just keep going this way. That's probably just money, right? Yeah. 
I just noticed all these bases are just like a dice. I wonder if that has any significance. There's a fairy who lives south of here in the forest on Outset Island. Oh. Okay. South of Outset Island. Interesting. Alright, let's go have a look. I feel like I've done that though, but I'll go have a look. It's the edge of the map, so I wonder where it would be. Pretty much the edge of the world. Well, I think I can think of is maybe move to an island over here. That's what I think it is. Is this golf? Okay, hang on. Get out of here. But, like... Well, I need to get higher, but I can't, obviously. It is what I think it is. I mean, I appreciate the imagination on that. Thought that might be the case. 
And then this one is just actual golf. What? Oh no, I need to change the wind direction. I realize what this is now. Hmm. Incorrect. Maybe not. Um, okay, hang on. So, this is north. It needs to face the next cardinal, which is west. Wait, did I get that right? I think so. Hang on, let's see. Oh, come on. Maybe I need to, like, do it in a two phase. direction. Can you hold on a sec? I think I got an annoying Uber driver at my door. One sec. No, it's like, this happens pretty often here, it's because all the townhouses look exactly the fucking same. And these drivers don't use common sense. So I have this conversation at least once every two weeks. This is how the conversation goes. You know, they keep ringing the bell until I actually go get it. And, uh... You know, they go, Hey. Your food's here. I'm like, hey, you got the wrong house. I didn't order anything. And then they have the goal to go, I, is this, you know, they read out uh, the number of the house that they're looking for and it's incorrect. And I'm like, no, this isn't it. 
And then they'll be like, are you sure? I'm like, yep. Do you know, do you know where this number is? And I'll be like, nope. And then they'll leave. Now, you might think, okay, yeah, it's human error, but here's the kicker. It's like, where I live, it's a, it, every townhouse is gated, so you can't, you know, walk up to the front door. There's like a gate that you have to ring, and then it, you know, sets off the doorbell. Directly above the, this buzzer, this, this button that you have to press to ring the doorbell, in letters probably as large as like a, your standard drink bottle. I'm t they're really, really large. Like, they're definitely bigger than a human hand. Lead is that big. Directly above the button you pr press is the, the address. And they, st like, still somehow get it wrong. Like... It, and it just keeps happening. Like, I've lived here for, I think, almost four years now. And I swear, dude, like... <laughs> It just it just keeps happening. They just they just don't pay attention. Most of them they're on their phone or something talking, and that's why like it's just they're not aware of their surroundings. Every time I get it, they're always on their phone talking to someone else, and they're so they're so annoying that they just keep pressing the doorbell until you go get it. Basically, like they don't even take a minute to go. Hmm, hang on, am I wrong here? Anyway. That's when you call them an angel and thank them for the food. D yeah, if only that wasn't like a potential repercussion. Oh, I can't see which direction it's facing. Just this way. That seems correct. Just tap the number and close the door. <laughs> No, but I don't- I don't want to, like, open the door and do that. Like, I just use the intercom and just tell them, fuck off, basically. Like, I make it- I make it very apparent, just from my tone of voice, that, like, they're idiots. Especially if they say, are you sure? Then I'm like, yeah, look at the number directly in front of the button you pressed. What does it say? Now look at the number on your phone. Now back to the button above the buzzer. Now back to your phone. Back to the buzzer. Back to the phone. Back to the buzzer. Do, do you see? Do you see? Do you, do you see? Or do you need to look at your phone, then look at the buzzer? Now back to the buzzer. The phone. Buzzer. Phone. Buzzer. Do, do you see? Oh, I don't... Ooh. 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 I was out of magic. <laughs> what? That's all this was? There's a hole over there, so maybe there's more. Yep. Yeah, honestly, I was kind of lucky to make that. I was even luckier to not go off the edge. I was too busy, like, trying to make a joke that I almost went off the edge. I'm just gonna do that. I mean, yeah. Like I'm not I'm not saying all delivery drivers are bad. Most of them they're fine. It's it's just this particular type that I swear man, like every time that I get this, they're always on the phone with someone. Yeah. 
the Uber interview process isn't particularly selective. No, not really, but that being said, if they mess up a bunch of times, they do get blacklisted. I don't know, most deliver delivery services are kind of uh, dying at the moment. I don't know if it's the same way you are, but like... They, they just cost so much money. And it's the kind of thing where like, the majority of them are doing that thing where... They try to, you know... Put orders together. Like, even Uber does it too, but, like, the majority of the time, your food doesn't even get to you in, like, a, a warm state. Like, a lot of the time, it's just, it's almost like you've been letting it sit for half an hour if you were to get it yourself. Like, it just takes way longer, and a lot of restaurants, they just have this surcharge that they tack on top of all their prices because they want to make money, right? Because Uber just, like, takes a lot, or any other delivery service. It's not particularly worth it. Did something get struck by lightning, or did, did I... don't have that problem, but you live in a fairly heavily populated city. I live in Australia's second largest city. <laughs> it's just the way these companies operate, you know, they want... They want to make more money, so they just kind of lump orders together. It's, it's a bit dodgy. The island due east of here lives an old man. Due east of here? I was just there. He has a night crest. Unless not immediately east. Wait, can I even... Oh no, wait, this is the golf course again. Due east of here. What island is that? Do you want to know what the most awkward conversation I've had? Um... I don't like small talk that much. It's one of those things where I feel like just, I mean, sometimes it, it's, it's a politeness thing, right? It's a politeness thing. And I get that. Like sometimes you just have to deal with it. But sometimes there are people that want to have a conversation with you and all they can do is do small talk. And uh, I don't know, I just, uh, I just can't do it. Um, so, No, in, I once had to take an Uber to work because public transport was down and I, I needed to get into the office. So yep. this Uber driver, basically every single small talk question you can imagine, right? Like, um, hey. 
like how you're enjoying the weather. Um, you know, oh, a lot of traffic out today. But then went the effort of like asking, oh, you know, what do you do for a living? And so I said what I did for a living. And then, you know, then kind of eyes light up and then they say, do you know Mark Zuckerberg? And, you know, when I got that question, I, I said yes. I'm like, yeah, because I was expecting a follow up like, oh, maybe there was news about Zuckerberg or something. And uh, the dude goes, "How's what's he like? And then I was like, wait, do you mean do I know not Mark Zuckerberg personally? No, I know of him. It's like, oh. He just said, oh. And then that was the end of the conversation. <laughs> it's because, no, just assume because I, I, I work in the IT industry, like I, I have a personal connection to that guy. And the, the rest of the 10 minute trip was like, in silence. <laughs> Do you know Z Mark Zuckerberg? Yeah. What's he like? Oh, I don't know him. Oh, and then that, that was the end of the conversation. Where's the, where's the belt? I only have nine of them. He wants ten, right? Wait, what did he say? No. Ten. I need one more. Where do you get these things? Wait, I don't know. I, I don't, unfortunately. I can't remember if the pigs dropped them. Yep. Like on the, uh, the fortress thing. Anyway, that's the sword master they're talking about. Well, they only dropped from the armor things. Potentially. I know that when we went into, um... To get the Master Sword, that's where I got the majority of them. I don't know, I, I firmly believe that if you spend enough time with someone, and you know, you know each other well enough, there's no need to talk for the sake of talking, like, I believe in being able to hang out with someone and, and be silent and be comfortable about it. You know? Yeah. Well, there also appears to be an important item here, so... If you think treasure that's hidden on that island, the the thing that vanishes as soon as you get near it, it won't vanish anymore, you know what? Wait, if you use the treasure that's hidden on that island there, the thing that vanishes as soon as you get near it, it won't vanish anymore. You know it. Am I having a stroke or am I not like understanding what he's saying? If you use the treasure that's hidden on that island there, the thing that vanishes as soon as you get near it, it won't vanish anymore, you know it. I, I'm talking about it, that thing that appears on nights when a wee bit of the right half of the moon is missing. Don't know what I'm talking about? I... I... I have no idea.
Hey. Got it. Okay, good. Well, it said something on this island, but this island appears to be uh, up high. Out of my reach, so yeah. Okay, let's continue. I was kind of hoping by going around to all the islands I would, you know, find what I needed to do. I have found pieces of the trifle, so it's not been a total bust, but... Just climb the sail? I wish I could. Okay, I've been here before. Where is fish? That is fish. Seen the boats sailing around here with the huge cannons, right, Fry? I bet you those things have their hulls packed with treasure. Of course, if you don't have a cannon yourself, there's no way you'll ever sink one of them. Okay. Only done that. I have about <laughs> 10 tiles left. Give or take. And then that's the, the whole thing mapped out. Okay, hang on. I don't see fish. I think I've been here before. Yeah, I've been here before. This is where I got the chart. The <laughs> fable set of triumph forks. Well, it's right there, my young friend. I, you know, a chart showing where you can find them. Of course, getting it is the hard part. I can't believe that didn't click before what they were talking about with Triumph Forks. I wonder how many kids out there would have, uh... looked for the Triumph Fork. Sometimes games put in text that kids take super literally. Like, I mean, <laughs> classic one is, you know, the urban legend of uh, Luigi and Mario 64, how people thought that the text on the statue said the L is, or L is real or something like that. Pretty funny. 
And just the absolute insanity that people came up with just to try and unlock Luigi, which was never really a thing. I almost dropped the, the gamepad, that's what that was. You know, it's probably for the best. I'm currently surrounded by these. Oh yeah, no, you, you want to back away now? I was trying to bring up my inventory and then I almost dropped the gamepad. I don't have any bait. Okay, uh, where is Beetle's chart? Wait, yo. Go back, go back, go back. Apparently on this tile somewhere. Where? I didn't see him. I think that's the boat over there. Thank you, good. Has the bait. So, is my next tier of reward just going to be another, um, form of affirmation? Positive reinforcement? I don't have that much left to get it. stocked up. Why are there so many of them? I love how they, they just chicken out the moment I start murdering them. Stick to your guns, cowards! That is fish. <laughs> A fame pictographer lives far to the north of here on Windfall Island. 
He's apparently really wise and talented in the ways of pictography. He's even said to have legendary pictographs that he treasures above all else things. Keeps him hidden away in the secret safe, or so they say. Oh yeah, the safe thing. I forgot about that. <laughs> Dorito Island. This is what this is. I mean, what flavor would this be if this was a Dorito? I saw flags. I almost feel like this wants me to follow it. It vanished anyway. No idea, I don't eat them. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, again. I mean, I feel like I've been in here. But for some reason, I don't have the map. Let me have a look. Been here. I didn't get the map, really? It's, it's not like me. There's fish over there. That looks like a tadpole. You ought to come sail these seas on nights when the right half of the moon is missing. Okay. Tadpole, yes, tadpole. <laughs> okay, so, I mean, you're going to say that it's sperm, I, I get it. but I just got like a mental picture of the the pirate from Spongebob just saying ahoy mateys it become island if I could do a good captain's voice I, I would I would say it with the captain's voice but you know just have that mental picture in your head Yeah, yeah, I've already, I've already got the fairy thing. Go south as a submarine. I've already gone to the submarine south, so we're good. There is something important here, though. Not really watched SpongeBob, so don't know what the character sounds like. I mean, the introduction to the show. It's just any any pirate voice. It's not really a special pirate voice. It's just I guess I had the added mental picture of just how that show starts. It's just a portrait of a pirate and then human lips.
talking like a pirate through the portrait. Just a sec, chat. Ahoy, it's come island. There you go. That's going to make like a great out of context clip. <laughs> Are you ready, kids? Oh, uh, dear. I've almost filled in the map. I have no excuse. <laughs> I have to figure out what to do. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about just the silence at night time, specifically. It's a bit strange. But we're nearly there. Only a few tiles left to discover. It's relaxing, comfy, I guess. Like if you're watching this at night time. It's like sounds that you can fall asleep to. I mean, the ocean waves, not so much me. Just thinking about them tadpoles. That's like another multi treasure thing. It's a shame that, um, yeah, I'm at max. I met a really weird guy on the island due east of here. He had a big pack on his back. 
Oh yeah, that's the vendor. We've already done that. Yeah, I mean, really? There's, there's only two Gorons. <laughs> and they're kind of disguised. Like, they don't want anyone to know that they're Gorons. They're hiding it. Big package. Is, you know. I know you're joking, or hope you're joking at the very least, but you know that somewhere out there there's like a rule 34 of Goron. Like, there's, there's just definitely someone with a Goron fetish. Excuse me, did I just get... What the? <laughs> I got... I got sent off my boat. Fish, you wanna help? I'm struggling a bit, fish. That is, that is quite frightening. They are sex symbols. <laughs> okay. I mean, the only thing I remember about, like, Zelda sex symbols have generally been around, um, like, the Zora Princess, whoever it might be at the time. Um, and I guess most recently, like, Sidon. Well, one more tile to go. I'm curious, if I go back in here, if there's dudes to fight. Let me have a look. music again but this is probably the way to grind these I think I only needed like one or two so you know it's probably worth doing the pigs. Don't tell me the base is empty now. This is just a waste of time. There are no more pigs. That's disheartening. <laughs> I mean, I guess that makes sense. We did clear it out. This fortress during the day doesn't look right. No, it doesn't. I just figured maybe, you know, a quick way to get the remainder since I was here, but it's it's abandoned. Okay. 
We'll figure it out. On to the final tile that I have to collect, and then that's it. The map's complete. We'll have the power of knowledge on our side, and then I should get to just continue. of knowledge. I think this is it. I haven't done this before, so... That looks promising. What am I doing? I have limited bombs. <laughs> I'm treating it like I have unlimited. I mean, I kind of do, but like... Okay, let me... Game, please, don't you dare. Okay, fish. This is it. Final piece of the map. Okay. The most reliable of sea charts. I hear that somewhere out in the wild world is a handy arrow that can freeze anything. With something like that, you could even freeze that nasty monster in the Forsaken Fortress for a while anyway. But then what would you do with a frozen monster, you say? Good question, Fry. Give it a whack and then watch it shatter. Oh, are you telling me I should have had frozen arrows for that fight? Or is this, some this is something else? Sure, hope not. It's another Korok Island. I mean, I'm gonna look under everything just to be thorough. You know what would be great? Magic. I need magic. What is with the lack of magic? <laughs> Into the ominous hull. That I probably can't do yet. No, okay. Wait for the parry. Or that. Hey, hey, Vina, what's up? We good? Nope, there's more to it. This is another C chart. Yeah. 
Playing the probably last season of D3. I mean, it's the last season before D4, but like, they're probably still going to keep going afterwards. Just not as many people are going to play. At least for a while. It depends how D4 goes. You never know. I mean, I'm, I've played it and I'm not entirely convinced about it. We'll just have to see. I'm sure the campaign will be good and enjoyable. It's just what they're going to do afterwards. That's... Yeah, we'll see. Can't really predict how that's going to go yet. Is legit. Yeah, I I've heard, I've seen it, but I mean, to be honest, like, it's still gonna end up with the same late game. If I play it, I'll probably play it off stream. As it kind of divides the audience a bit. I just, I just find that, like, in D3. When you get towards, you get, you get your gear way too quickly, and then it's kind of like the power you get from legendary gems and just that effort you have to go to for what effectively doesn't really change much. It's just, you know, it's just changing your numbers and not a whole lot else. It's like, oh, you just have to get primal versions of whatever you have, or I don't know. Unless I'm playing it with someone, I just can't really play it on my own too much, so. I saw the I saw the theme was interesting, but then it's just it's gonna end up being the same thing ultimately. Grind the greater rift and then just pretty much rinse and repeat over and over again. Ignore anything that isn't a beam of light, and then... Yeah. I'm not saying I wouldn't be entertained with it, it's just I think my entertainment of D3 is definitely very limited compared to what it used to be. Do I play PC on Switch? Uh, the last time I played on PC, but that was, you know... It's well over a year ago, like, it's been a long time, and yeah, it's pretty much for those reasons, it's like... If I stream it, it's pretty much only the people that are interested in Diablo, like, games watch. And, yeah, that's... I don't know. The moment I stop playing it, it that's it. <laughs> So, I'm good. Plus, I got other stuff to get through. Like, I'm trying to get through all the Zelda games before the new one comes out, and Metroid Prime and a bunch of other stuff, so... Okay, so I've got the complete map now. So I'm gonna go to this island, I'm gonna follow the thread. You get GR150 at 1500 Paragon. Oh, that's good. But yeah, I guess I, I don't really have any real motivation to do that. I, I kind of get fatigued around GR90 because that's when it kind of starts feeling like you're doing the same thing again. That's at that point where, like, the amount of power you gain for the time investment is just... I don't think it's worth it. But, you know, to each their own. I need to talk to the fish on this island. Because this is what gave me the clue. Saw someone selling a Switch bundle with the physical copy of Prime Remastered. An official bundle or just... Something someone put to... 
together. To be honest, they probably just have a pre-order. Um, because... Oh no, you know what? No, because I think it's out in America. It's out here next week. Because we have to wait an extra week. I remember it was like last week of Feb slash early March. Okay. Yes. Okay. Five squares south and one square east, you'll reach Icy Ring Island. We'll get an item that'll make you heavier stone. Okay. Five squares south, one square east. So let me... Mark this out. One, two, three, four, five, and then east. So that's Icy Ring Island, this one here. Okay. I will, I will figure this out. It's just... I, I just wanted to get the whole map so then there's no variable of, like, me having to figure out what's on what island. I did get the Triforce pieces based on the map, so that was good. Now, it's on to whatever's next, like a... I guess I am gonna 100% this based on this. How about I put on the sail that lets me go fast? There we go. Oh, and there was the, uh... The person stealing, but I'll do that later. Wait, did it remove what I- ugh, I think it removed what I did. That's a little annoying. Okay, but I, I do have reference on the screen where I'm gonna go. It's definitely a missed opportunity that they didn't let you stamp or mark particular parts of the map. It's okay. Alright, two more tiles and then I go east. They talk about the moon a lot, but I, I, I've never really been able to spot it out easily. The camera doesn't really allow it. I guess I have to, st I have to be stationary to see it. Okay, uh, I'll get to the middle of this tile and then head east. I think that's the island that it was referring to. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I can't get in here because I need a source of fire. So now this fish should tell me where to get that. Well, you know what? Maybe... I'm overcomplicating it. Like, what if it's just a, a matter of, like, not literal fire, but fire from, uh, from a cannon? Uh, 
I, I didn't try, so... I mean, this creates fire, right? <laughs> Explosions are fire. I don't think that's the answer. I think the moment I set foot on here, it's going to hurt. Yeah, it's already got like a, a bad aura. Okay. Beesh. Tell me where to go. There is this amazing treasure inside that freezing rig of ice over there. But even if you wanted to it and tried to get inside, you'd be frozen solid as soon as you approach the shore. But if you go four squares north and three squares west. Four squares north, three squares west. One, okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Okay, I've got it. Four squares north, three squares west. Got it. So it's, I guess in terms of the grid, it's 2-2. Two, two. Or uh, B-2, I guess, if you're doing it in terms of that coordinate. really is going to make me go, like, across every single tile just to do this. I mean, otherwise I'll consult the Triforce chart and see if there's anything else I can do. This game must be annoying to speedrun, just thinking about it now. the glimmering gemstone. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> but good luck. That's all I'm looking. Let me see. Where's the trifles chart? One of them po points to a ghost ship. So I've gotten one, hang on, I've gotten three charts, all three charts, but then there's the ones that remain now are specifically on islands. Okay. So there's one, two, three, four, five. There's five remaining. Yeah, this is the island, so... It's up high, though. It, am I... Okay. Uh, 
let's try a seagull. It says it's a silent, so... What? No, come on. Are you, are you telling me the seagull? Okay, there we go. Okay, so we can see what's inside. There's like a... It looks like it's a sub-map. The reason it's not letting me in here is because you, there is no intent. Okay, so there has to be a way in here somehow. Okay, this is pointless. It's not really going to give me any clues. Let's see what you have to say. No. What about the Korok? What if that's the key to this? Like, I just have to do this. Because I've, I've been putting it off because it's annoying. But looking at this, what if this grows a tree that then allows me to get in there? If I don't see a clear way, that has to be it. Which, I guess I'm just gonna have to- I'm gonna find a map somewhere that shows which islands the Koroks are on. Because it gives you a half hour limit. <laughs> I'm not about that. No, this- this has to be it. This has to be it. There's no other way in there. I couldn't do anything with the, the seagull, and it doesn't look like there's a latch point or anything, so... Okay, uh, I guess I'm doing the Korok thing. Hold on. Uh, wind Waker Korok Tree Map. Excellent. Perfect. <laughs> okay. We got this. I've got- I've got the locations. In a handy dandy chart. It prevents the manual effort that I have to go to to, uh... To mark these myself on the map. Okay. Um... So now we need to go to... Which is the island? Not Dragon Roost. Was, is it Outset Island? No. I'm terrible with names. It's not Dragon Roost. Forest Haven, that one. Okay. And then from Forest Haven... There's so many trees. There's... Eight in total. So in half an hour I gotta do eight. <laughs> okay. Um... I also got to remember tile 2-2. Two, two. So that's the tile that I'm going to end up on. So I'm going to... I'm planning out a route. Um, you know what? Just so, you, just so you can see what I'm talking about, I'm going to save this image. Just so you can see what I'm talking about, chat. Because the map is, uh, yeah, is on the bottom screen. Okay, so here's the map. So we are heading to F6 currently. So from F6, I'm gonna go to G6, then A5, no, G6, E3, E5, C6, A5, B4, and then do B2 and B1, and then come back to B2. So I need to do that in half an hour.
I mean, hold on. Like I'm reading, I'm reading coordinates out, but like, if I was to, you know, use this, this marker, right? So we are currently here. We need to head to here. I'll go like this, up, across, down, right? Then head up there, and then end up here. <laughs> there you go. No, no need to do a hack. That's like production value right there. Oh, yes! <laughs> I hope I'm able to do that in half an hour. That, that would really suck if, like, the route I've picked uh, just doesn't allow it, but... Okay. Next one over, next one over, not this one. It's that one in the distance over there. Wait, apparently there's one on there's one on this island here. Where? Oh no, wait, it's the one next, the one across. My bad, one across. I keep missing the last column. so tired of these sharks. Just leave me alone. Go away. Okay. Mission start. Oh boy, I don't think I'd have to come back to this island, but... I hate this island. the wrong button and then I let go like an idiot I already got full magic Thankfully, I have a second. Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> it's full with something. Now I have to waste it. Okay. All right. You can use it multiple times. It's like, it's magical enough to have multiple uses, not magical enough to last more than 30 minutes, so...
Okay. Mission start. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, first stop is that island over there, I believe. Oh no, I remember this. You know what? It's it's not even that straightforward either. Cuz I have to go through this as well. Yep. This took a while, so okay. Do this all again. you up. You know, it's actually not too bad now that I know. But still. It is a lot of extra effort. Oh, this is already done. Well then. Okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright. There you go. One. <laughs> like, this is kind of the definition of a parasite. It's they're they're kind of in unison. It's like a hive. I don't. Does they're all linked together? Okay, so north one and then east three. Okay, um, east three. Well, oh, uh, I did say I was gonna go north three, then east three first, and then go back down. So hello, raccoon. How's it going? I think I got this marked correctly. Hang on. Just double checking. Okay, this is fine. think that 30 minutes is going to be enough. Oh, okay. So it's on this island over here. This one's pretty straightforward. <laughs> Whoops. Hey! 
Wake up. Here we head south to. So just past the tower. that island over there how's it already no has it already been five minutes what i've really underestimated how long this is going to take How many dungeons have I done so far? The three. And I've gotten three Triforce pieces. Right now I'm just sailing around doing this. Odds and ends. Okay. Down one and then across another two. And then that way too. Probably that thing in the distance over there. Yeah, I mean, I'm trying to find, like, a way forward, and I think I have one. It's just whether or not this pans out the way I think it will. Surely it's this island. It doesn't look like it. Okay, onward. It's probably that one over there. Because this is my first time playing it, admittedly I'm probably like going around in circles more than I should, but I'll get there. head in this direction I should reach the next one there's four more remaining jeez I can only imagine what this would be like without the far sail this would suck <laughs> this would really suck
Like, that's a pretty tight window. If you don't take the fast sail into account. I don't know, I almost would have preferred if this wasn't time-gated and was just, uh... I suppose it's worse to go back and get more water. I guess this is the lesser of the evils. I just think... The time limit with a normal sail, hmm... Okay, um, uh, this way. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it's fine. I guess I would have to... I would have to hear it from someone that played the original, just if this was really that bad, as I think it would be. I guess it's on this island. Well, I don't remember where it was on this island. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's on the spiral island, one that I can actually get to. Okay. I haven't really explored this island. And then from here, it's just straight up. So, I mean, with the fast sail, it's taken me... It'll take me 15 minutes, roughly. So, I guess there's, like... I would imagine there's, like, a wiggle room of five minutes. Give or take. This just seems very lengthy. Second last one. One more.
And then I'll come back to this island and we'll see what's up. The acceleration as soon as I set out the sail. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm, I, I just can't help but think, like, how much of a pain this would be without the sail. Like, it's, it's not, it's not a little speed increase, it's quite a significant one. I just can't help but think how much more tedious this would be. Like, this took 15 minutes with this sail. Yeah, pretty much exactly 15 minutes. Oh, whoops. Closer. Okay. There it is. Oh. I mean, I'm happy, but maybe this isn't the way forward. Swordsman, come see how healthy my forestry has become. Wow, I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going back to that island nonetheless, but... Oops. There is a downside to using the fast sail. If you do happen to fall off your boat, your boat can, does continue for quite some time. Barely remember the dungeons in this game, but they've been fun. They have. I've enjoyed them. I mean... I like the whole vibe of it. There's, it's just, there's comedy to it. There's a bit of a slapstick vibe. I think this section is dragging on just a little bit, but it's fine. Okay, so is this is this going to help me or does this not help me in the slightest? Because according to this tile, yeah, this this didn't help. Well, this did not help. I followed the trail and the fish trail, if I want to get through the ice, it's said to come to this tile, that there's something here. Yeah. Yeah. But this appears to be a dead end. I don't really see a way in. And this, the boat just says talk to things that live nearby. I mean, I have to get in here, it's just... not really sure how. I thought maybe growing the tree back might give me a way in, but nope. There's something definitely there, but I just... I need to get in somehow. There doesn't appear to be a, a spot to use a particular thing on. There is this, but... I doubt it has any correlation. Hmm... Do 
the only other thing I can do is really is just follow the chart. It has Triforce pieces and try to get in. Alright, I'm gonna do that. But because this is a bust, like this doesn't seem to do anything. If there was a tornado, I could ride up, maybe, but there's nothing, so. Okay, I'm going to the nearest Triforce piece marker on the Triforce map, which is not too far away. to the map. It's probably in that base over there. If it's pointing there. These sharks are so annoying. Maybe it's not here. I'm looking at what would be likely. So it's either the isle oh it's this island it would have to be this island <laughs> but i have no way in here Yeah. Hey. The power you have now, you can either lift or destroy that stone, and yet somewhere on the sea, the power to do so lies. I must seek it out. Yeah, but I. Yep. Am I really just going to go around from Triforce Island to Triforce Island and try and get in? I tried following the trail that it was recommending. And it led me to that island. But then there was a dead end. Like, I, I couldn't figure out a way to get in the... Okay, I need to get rid of this shark. This thing's so annoying. Where are you? Come here. They just, these things just chase you forever. Go away. Link is a weenie in this game. I mean, he's just a kid. Not an adult. I do kind of have to look at wrapping things up soon, because I got work in the morning. So I want to at least get to a point where I know where to go next, because I don't want to roam the oceans again. I mean, I did a bunch of stuff today, so it's fine, but... Okay, according to this, there's a Triforce piece on this island here, so let's see what we can do.
there. These trees were no help. Okay. Don't touch me with those filthy hands, you mischievous little scamp. It belongs to the master. Wait, who's the master? Ms. Marie's Cabana, Windfall's lovely teacher. Oh. How many of those things do I have? I needed 30. I only have 19. Um. How have I not found more? So it's the teacher's cabana. Yeah, I got the feeling, well, I mean, at least this is a solid lead, because that's something I can address. I just need to find out where to grind more of those butterfly things. In fact, you know what? I think I know exactly where to do it. There's a submarine somewhere. Hang on. Yeah, there's one in the tile right next to us. And I think that one had um, moblins or bokoblins, whatever you want to call them. And I think they dropped them. So... If I just rinse and repeat that room, that might be enough. But otherwise, I don't- I don't really have a solid lead at the moment. Other than collecting these collectibles for all of them, like, I could get the sword one as well. But yeah, these dudes drop them, don't they? Shit. Yep. Okay, this is this is the play. This is the way. Okay, the, there is there is a little bit of a problem. I'm getting mugged by these rats. But I mean, otherwise, yes, this is this is the place to be. Maybe it's safer to go with the dude outside, because then I won't lose money if I like lost fifty rupee doing this. Like, there's there's a dude outside here. Yes, you. Ah. Am I really- am I really about to do this? Just... Oh my god. Oh, this is horrible. But I, I honestly can't think of a better way to do this. Whoa, 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 whoa,
It's gone. Where is it? There. There, 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 there. What? I can't interact with it. Can't do it. Okay, never mind. I think I think that's what that uh thing was referring to by making something not disappear. It would be the ship. So I I need something else. Where's that submarine? Should be here. I saw it somewhere. Okay. As annoying as this is to grind, I'm just gonna have to suck it up. I suppose it could be worse. At least, at least I have a way of doing it. And hopefully, by being kind to that teacher, I'll get, I'll get my thing. <laughs> I don't know. Yep. This is reminding me of, like, when I used to play Zelda 1 as a kid, and I'm trying to figure out desperately where to go next. At least this is something I can grind, so... Even if I'm wrong, I'm gonna get something out of it. Camera, please. <laughs> that scared the crap out of me. It's just the water expiring. I thought something bad happened. How many do I have left to do? Uh, two more. At least I know whether I saw the ship now, so... Okay. Uh, now we're setting course to... We're going to Windfall, right? I think she's on Windfall. It's in that general direction. Just head this way and I'll get there. But I mean, otherwise...
Oh, and I still gotta look at the, uh... There's a thief on that island as well. I still haven't done that. This, this is it. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna have to have a think before I, I play this next time. I mean, it, it, this wasn't for nothing. Like, I did get a bunch of heart pieces and stuff, so... I've collected what I could. You're 30. Wait, is it certain that's the pictograph thing? Ma! My dear, did you bring me joy pendants yet again? How many joy pendants do you have right now? 30? Why, to think a child like you would pay such a large tribute to me. Your teacher is very impressed by your efforts, little dear. My whole body is numb with the thrill of excitement. So this is what pure joy feels like. I'll take precisely 20 of them, thank you. That'll do just fine. My heart will be all a flutter. I don't know if you know, but 20 is my lucky number. And just as I promise, I will reward you for going out and collecting all of these for me. I'm going to give you a wonderful, splendid thing. Close your eyes, dear. Okay. Cabana, dude. Yes. You see, although I am a mere teacher, I own my very own cabana in a tropical oasis down south. But lately, I haven't made use of it at all. So you can have it. Ooh, it's all right, dear. You can stop gaping in amazement now. Now that you have this deed, that cabana is all yours. You own it. So whatever you do, don't lose this piece of paper. I'm getting on in age and sea travel hasn't exactly agreed with me of late. So, now I can just stay here and relax as I continue to work with the children. And just so you know, you'll find a place southeast of here. It's on a lonely little isle near the Triangle Islands. From now on, it is your own little bachelor pad. Good luck finding it. One more thing. Don't tell anybody, dear. I mean, I have questions. <laughs> yeah. what, what would a teacher do... I mean, she, she can't just be a teacher. Can't just be a teacher. There has to be more to her than just being a teacher. Like, was either a pirate before decided to settle down or something, but there's no way that a, a teacher is able to have an, a private island. And not only that, apparently, like, help as well. It looks like there's a butler on that island too. There's some story there. <laughs> Just doesn't add up, you know?
I like to think that uh, that that teacher used to be a pirate, a mighty pirate, and was just hiding it. Anyway, there is a, a pe not only that, yeah. If if this map is to be believed, there's a piece of the Triforce there. So there's more to this teacher than meets the eye. Has a cabal a private cabana has a piece of the uh the Triforce. Who is this teacher? Mrs. Ganondorf. <laughs> Maybe. Ew, unclean, most foul. Don't lay those grungy hat. Wait, ha, 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 that's... Why, that's the... Are you... Are you the new master? Are you Master Link? Ah, I'm so pleased to hear that name. Master Link. Please be gentle on this fine door. <laughs> what is that door? What on earth? What? <gasps> ah, Master, do you have an interest in the amusements of nobility? I do. Well, in that case... Mm, no, thank you. I know what this is already. Enjoy yourself. Okay, the controls are a little clunky, but I, I get it. Am I- am I being timed on this? Oh no, I know what this is a picture of. Why is it a picture of this kid? That raises even more questions. Why does this teacher have a photo of a snot-nosed kid? Not a photo- well, I guess it's a piece of art. It's not really a photo, but... This, is, this becomes more and more unsettling as it goes. Maybe it's not the teacher, maybe it's the butler, but this, this is quite strange. Man, I used to do these all the time as a kid. <laughs> I'm kind of rusty. Is this teacher on a register? I hope not. I mean, I hope not in the sense that, um, you know, there's no truth to that. It's a bit weird. I mean, the more innocent answer is this is the teacher's child. Or maybe like an old, a relative. Like maybe everyone in this family just has a snot nose. Is 
this is not the time of night to be doing this puzzle. Oh no, I've, I've, yep, I've cooked it. This is the, the body is the base, and then the stuff is up high. Like, that stuff belongs up high. Yeah, I've messed this up. Now this is gonna take me twice as long. already. <laughs> the main thing that's messing me up is just I, I think the controls work the inverse to what they work. So like I'm having to undo moves. Okay, that's set up. Now I need to get that cheek down here too. This is correct now. Now I need to fix this. going around in circles thinking it's gonna change the outcome. Wait. Oh, this is frustrating. If this was earlier on in the day, I'd be able to do this so much quicker. I'm just, I'm kind of tired. It's like almost 2 a.m. Making me feel dumb. I haven't even fixed the bottom yet, let me... <sighs> the control scheme is what's messing me up the most here. Yeah. shifting stuff up now. Okay, hold on. And now this is on the wrong side! Okay. Let's just leave that for now. Let me fix whatever this shit is down here. Oh, this is gonna be a headache. I mean, 
kind of, but... Okay, body's correct. Now... Is... Oh no, I've ruined this. I've ruined this already. This is like... Horrible. I should have started from the bottom pieces, but... I didn't recognize the error of my ways until it was too late. Okay, bottom row is done. So let's just work on this now. Never liked these puzzles. I kind of enjoyed them as a kid. Like, there is a method to them, but I've long since forgotten it, and it's just, it's late at night. There was a, a game on the NES, um, that was a Simpsons game that had this shit as a bonus stage, so I guess that's kind of where I got good at them. But okay, okay, we're getting there. It's honestly just repeating the same pattern until the pieces fall into place. Like, you just kind of keep shifting around until... Hang on, I need this piece here. Okay, and now you go like this. Okay. Nearly there. That's my rating. <laughs> What's with the light? Is that just because I took forever? Oh, there's multiple. This game needs to be released on Switch. There was always the- there's been a rumor for a while that this and Twilight were being released, but... It's been a few years and nothing's materialized. So I kind of gave up and <laughs> just played it. Okay, here we go. Oh, you've got the reference photo behind, there we go. Okay, mountains in the background, alright, I got it. Um, and then her body is- yeah, okay. <gasps> Why am I doing this right now? <sighs> Alright, anyway. Let me see if I can do this quickly. These bottom, yeah, these are bottom pieces, these ones here. Okay. Okay, cool, that's sorted. Now do the same here. Okay, I need to go 
get these on opposite ends. I'm doing better this time. Just trying to remember how these puzzles work. first. No, go back. Where does the house go? Oh, I've got this the wrong way around. It goes... Okay, hang on. How was that? <laughs> that was like way quicker. More than one picture of children. Yeah, I know. It's a little scary. Are there really this many pictures that you have to do? Alright, it's Tingle this time. This is... Okay. Uh... Okay, clouds in the top. Boat, bottom. Okay. It's a good thing it's, you're not being timed here. Okay, that's the bottom part formed. I just need to get it to the bottom. Wait, this way. I forgot what's in the bottom corner. I think it's this piece here. Seems correct. Okay. Which means the other piece would be the one that's currently at the very top right now. See what I've done wrong. Hang on. Thank you. 
wrong order again. Okay. Uh, uh, which way should I go? Probably this way. Now this is on the wrong side, so I gotta get this across. Okay, that's it. Got it. No. <laughs> Provided I don't mess that up. Look at the- do I really- do I really have to do this many? This is, um, them giving you hush money. This, this is a massive hassle, holy crap. <laughs> There's also a love heart there. I mean, you know what this, I think all this is, is like, if you want to get money. It's probably just a nice and easy way to raise funds, but beyond that... I have max money. No, I know. That's why I'm thinking I probably shouldn't do the rest now. But this didn't help me. There's a Triforce piece on this island, but I, I think it's up there and I can't get to it. Wind, direct, wind, wind direction messed me up. Um, alright. Well, I mean, look. As much as I would love to keep going, I, I do have to leave it here. One, I've been playing for quite a bit of time, but also, I have work tomorrow, so... Yeah, I'm gonna have to think how to, how to proceed here, because I... The only lead I've had that's close is that island, but I haven't really figured a way in, so... I guess I'll... I'll... I'll see. Um... But, hey, I mean, I guess we got a creepy old cabana and a bunch of heart pieces, so that's... that's good, right? <laughs> but definitely we'll get into a dungeon next time. Am I ending? Yeah, it's two in the morning. I, I have to sleep. Oh, as I have work in the morning, so... <laughs> but... Yeah, we got the, uh, pirate cabana. So, that's something. Anyway, chat. I want to thank you for, uh, watching tonight. I hope you had a good time here. Especially if you're new to the stream. Thanks for checking out the content. I don't have any plans to stream tomorrow. Tuesdays, I usually take a day off to work on YouTube content, but also just to kick back and chill. So, we'll be continuing, not tomorrow, but the day after. And we'll keep going with uh, Wind Waker and Kirby, most likely. So, that's the plan. But in the meantime, while I'm away, if you want to watch some of my other streams or content, you can find me on YouTube, just Search for the channel name over there, and you'll find yourself with three channels, each with their own purposes, so. Hope you do check that out. Or if you're watching this later on YouTube, well, thank you for tuning in, and if you want to help the channel out, easiest way is just by doing the thumbs up or a comment as it feeds the algorithm machine, but also lets me know what people are enjoying, and lets me know what to do more of in future, so don't have to, but I appreciate anyone that does that. Alright, I'm gonna go get some rest once again. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I will return with more Wind Waker, not tomorrow, the day after, so if you want to know when that is, and if you're following, just look for the going live notification, and you'll know. Alright, take care everyone. I'll see you next time.